150 years. To start, an electric furnace melts recycled steel at about 2,900 degrees Fahrenheit. A gigantic bucket then transfers the liquid metal into what's called a mold pit. Inside the pit, the metal fills eight holes from the bottom up, creating steel ingots 20 feet long. A bandsaw cuts the cooled ingots into sections called wheel molds. Each mold weighs about a thousand pounds. To prepare the molds for forming into train wheels, Automated machinery loads them into one door of this rotary furnace, and they exit the other side at around 2400 degrees Fahrenheit. A machine then places the molds into a high-pressure water descaling unit that removes the outermost layer of metal. then squashes each malt like a marshmallow with 9,000 tons of pressure, forging it into the rough shape of a train wheel. The train wheel is 30 inches in diameter when a robot removes it from the press and delivers it to a rolling mill. squeezes and shapes the wheel until it expands to 36 inches in diameter, a 20% increase. The train wheel then enters a final shaping press that punches out the hole where the axle will go. All excess material goes back to the melt shop for recycling. machine sprays the outside of the wheel with cold water, which hardens the steel. Next, they machine the rim of the wheel and the axle hole. A worker then ensures they meet all specifications. Identified and labeled, the wheels are now ready for the axles. Axles start off as steel ingots that a manipulator feeds into a rotary forging machine. The machine rotates and hammers the piece, gradually shaping the hot metal into an axle. The manipulator and the forging machine work as a team, ultimately shaping the axle to the required diameter and length. then go through a heat treating process. Next, they machine the entire axle, removing all excess material, and prepare it to accept the train wheel. Here, a wheel mounting press fits a wheel onto each end of the axle. and attaches a bearing. He then bolts on the end cap and secures it using a torque wrench. A grouper tool locks the bolts in place. Finally, the mounted wheel set rolls off the assembly line, ready to